What's up, Bama Insider Nation? Trey Yannity here, joining you from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. This video is the second in the Coaching Spotlight series. Kyle Henderson, our managing editor, released the first one today on head coach Nick Saban. Very fitting that he went first, but also very fitting that secondly, we focus on the new offensive coordinator, former NFL head coach, Bill O'Brien. Before we get into this video today, guys, hit the like button for me, subscribe to our channel, and go to BamaInsider.com to check out all things Alabama Crimson Tide football. Bill O'Brien is now the offensive coordinator and quarterbacks coach at Alabama. He signed a two-year contract for $2 million back in January of this year. O'Brien originally grew up in Andover, Massachusetts, and would eventually attend Brown University in Providence, Rhode Island, where he played defensive end and linebacker for the Bears from 1990 to 1992. O'Brien always knew he was going to get into the game of football, whether that was playing or coaching, and he decided young in his career, the playing route wasn't for him, but he knew he could start coaching right away at his alma mater, Brown University. He coached the tight ends in 1993 and the inside linebackers in 1994. He then spent his next three seasons from 1995 to 1997 as an offensive graduate assistant at Georgia Tech. From 2001 to 2002, O'Brien served as an OC and quarterbacks coach and was named an assistant head coach for the 2002 season, still with the Yellow Jackets. And in 2003, after missing out on an opportunity with the Notre Dame Fighting Irish, O'Brien headed to Maryland, where he served as a running backs coach for two seasons, coaching guys like Josh Allen and Russell Perry. In 2005 to 2007, O'Brien was the offensive coordinator at Duke, and finally got the call to hit the pros and join the New England Patriots, where Bill Belichick had him serve as an offensive assistant and wide receivers coach beginning in 2007. After three seasons, O'Brien was promoted to offensive coordinator. And in 2012, he took a trip to the Super Bowl with the Patriots, but also that year he signed a contract to become the next head coach at Penn State University, replacing the legendary Joe Paterno after the well-known Jerry Sandusky scandal that had happened earlier that year. His first year at State, O'Brien collected the most wins for a first-year head coach in school history and was awarded the Big Ten Coach of the Year and the Bear Bryant Award as the National Coach of the Year. After two seasons at Penn State, O'Brien was officially introduced as the Texans head coach on January 2nd of 2014. He won the division twice in two of his first five seasons with the Texans and received a four-year contract extension in 2018. Now, if you don't know this story, you're probably wondering, well, Four years in 2018, that means 2022. Why is he not still in Houston? Well, on January 28, 2020, Bill O'Brien was appointed as the Texans general manager. The Texans had gone the entire 2019 season without filling this position. During the offseason, O'Brien got the job and decided to make some huge moves. He traded wide receiver DeAndre Hopkins and a fourth round pick in the 2020 NFL Draft to the Arizona Cardinals for running back David Johnson a 2020 second round pick, and a 2021 fourth round pick. This move was heavily criticized, and looking back on it, one that ultimately cost O'Brien his coaching career in Houston. Following an 0-4 start in the 2020 season, O'Brien was fired from the Texans, and October 5th, 2020, he finished his tenure in Houston with a 52-48 record in the regular season, and a record of 2-4 in the playoffs for a combined record of 54-52 as the NFL head coach. Now throughout his long time in Houston, O'Brien did all right for himself. O'Brien is now estimated at $7 million in his net worth after receiving a $4 million a year contract with the Texans. Not only did he clean up in the money department, but the contacts department as well. As we look at his coaching tree here, O'Brien coached under eight current or former NFL head coaches. Mickey Witowski coached under him in 1993. He coached under Mark Whippy at Brown as well in 1994, under George O'Leary at Georgia Tech from 95 to 01, under Chan Gailey at Georgia Tech in 2002. Ralph Friedgen would get into the NFL. He coached under him at Maryland in 03 to 04. Ted Roof at Duke from 05 to 06. Bill Belichick in the NFL from 07 to 2011. And Nick Saban, the former Miami Dolphins head coach, of course, now at Alabama in 2021. His assistants made out okay as well. He's had three of them end up coaching at the NCAA level or in the NFL as well with the head coaching position. Charlie Fisher at Western Illinois from 2016 to 2017. Mike Vrabel, of course, with the Tennessee Titans from 2018, still with that position. And Romeo Cronell, who was the interim head coach in 2020 after Bill O'Brien was fired. In January, O'Brien decided to team up with Nick Saban 
Doug Marone, another former NFL head coach, and an already loaded staff for the 2021 season. Now, of course, this position was opened up after the departure of Steve Sarkeesian to Texas, but O'Brien knew that he was inheriting an offense that had just been the most efficient in 2020 and one of the most efficient in the history of the game. January 21st is the day it became official with O'Brien, and of course the day that everybody started wondering, what is he going to make of guys like Bryce Young? Now Bama fans, rest easy. O'Brien was in the selection process on the Texans quarterback Deshaun Watson, and once he got there, O'Brien developed him into the NFL quarterback he is now. That was a guy he had to teach how to play in the NFL. Think about what is possible with a guy like Bryce Young that he just has to teach how to play at the SEC level. And not only that, but O'Brien will have Doug Marone, fresh out of the NFL as well, joining his staff as the offensive line coach to help teach this young group what they need to get used to the SEC. If you think about overall minds that have been added to this coaching staff, it's hard to find a team around the country that can out-strategize Alabama at this point. The Crimson Tide are very excited about their hire of O'Brien, and it's no secret, like many coaches at Alabama, O'Brien is on the rebound and will presumably be looking to fulfill a head coaching position elsewhere, as we've seen other coaches do, like Steve Sarkeesian, like Kirby Smart, Jeremy Pruitt, Lane Kiffin, the list goes on and on. But how long does Bill stick it out at Bama? Time will only tell, and this season will mean a lot, depending on how he can work with Bryce Young and how he can get this offense back into the shape they were at the end of last season. If he wins the national championship this year, that may be all he needs to move elsewhere, but there's a chance we see him fulfill a multi-year role with the program as he did sign a two-year contract. Bill O'Brien is set for his first season with the Crimson Tide as they look to follow up one of their best offensive seasons in program history. Stay tuned throughout the rest of the month as we preview the rest of this coaching staff and the roster also. And don't forget to hit that like button for me on your way out, subscribe to the channel, and go to BamaInsider.com for all things Alabama Crimson Tide football. For Bama Insider, my name is Trey Yannity. This has been a coaching spotlight on offensive coordinator Bill O'Brien.